Hi guys, uh, I'm back with another relatively unpopular hunting ground video. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how I hunted vermin or poi seal uh, on a 400 plus EK. And I also hunt a little bit of infernatal seal, which is the fire one, because simply there isn't enough respawn on the vermin or seal itself. Uh, so I guess it depends how quickly you're hunting. If, for example, your world currently has double respawn on a venore, then just a vermin or seal will be enough. In most cases, you'll probably want to be doing one or two pulls in the fire seal as well. Nevertheless, let's get let's jump into the breakdown uh, experience. Five out of ten, pretty poor loot. Six out of ten, not too bad. Difficulty five out of ten. Optimization difficulty one out of ten. It's super easy to optimize this respawn because it's super simple. You're basically just going down little perfect rooms that Tipsoft has designed for you. Uh, the only difficult part is that, you know, jumping between the two seals, you need to be careful not to get trapped by the hands of Cursed Fate, etc. But the fire and the, and the poison seals are basically right next to each other, so uh, it's not very difficult. And popularity, 1 out of 10, it's pretty much always free. Uh, you know, I've seen someone hunting here like once or twice in my life. Oh, and access difficulty is about 3 out of 10. You just need the Pits of Inferno quest, which almost everybody has, uh, so not too bad. Uh, this place can be hunted effectively by night. Um, everything else is a big maybe for paladins, mostly because everything here runs away. So you're gonna have a real, real problem chasing all of the stuff. Um, Druid and sorcerer, same issue. Uh, duo, you know, you run into the problem that is not enough respawn. Full team hunt, uh, no. I think this place would be pretty good on rapid respawn in like a duo or a full team hunt. Uh, it would be pretty fun. So maybe, maybe you want to check this out on rapid respawn. Uh, and other notes, uh, you do have a really low chance of Pits of Inferno boss spawning, so that's always nice. Uh, you know, get some boss points, get uh, get a rare drop. Anyway, moving on. Uh, here are my results. As you can see, it's mostly uh, results from the Poison Seal, uh, but I did also get a couple of demons, uh, some Hell Firefighters and Hell Hounds as well, because I was jumping in for a quick, quick... 30 60 seconds in the fire seal to get some more respawn in the poison seal uh, anyway looking at the results uh, raw experience you can get up to about three million doing this which is about four and a half on 150 percent and the loot is you know somewhere around 600k profit an hour it kind of depends how lucky you get because you know this old school content they have like rare high value items dropping uh, so it's, it's quite difficult to have a sustained profit sometimes it'll be 300 an hour sometimes it'll be 1 million right it depends uh, and then looking at the beast sherry, the main reason to hunt here is the beast sherry. I hunted here because I wanted the blight walker beast sherry, so it took me approximately 12 hours to get it. Uh, but then if you look at the defiler and son of vermin or uh, beast sherry, you're looking at 50 and 35 hours respectively. Uh, for my liking, that is way too long uh, for this kind of beast sherry. So maybe consider doing this on rapid respawn. Uh, but the blight walkers are okay. You know, 12 hours for the blight walkers is pretty fun, pretty rare. Uh, you know, pretty unpopular spot, so you can always guarantee to you know you can hunt here for a while. So it's okay for blight walkers, but I wouldn't. I personally didn't bother with the filers or sons of verminor. Uh, moving on, you will need level 400 plus recommended by me at least. I think it's pretty tough otherwise. Uh, obviously, Pits of Inferno quest. Uh, you will want physical and ice weapons. Physical weapon for the Verminor seal, ice weapon for the Infernatal seal, and you will want a Dwarven ring in the uh, Poison seal. I recommend just standard imbuements. Wouldn't rec really recommend necessarily any uh, protection imbuements. And with regards to damage breakdown, obviously damage breakdown uh, physical uh, protection first at 72%, then some poison protection at 17%, and then just bits and bobs, uh, nothing really too worthwhile. And moving on, supplies, uh, about 2,500 strong mana potions and about uh, 50 supreme health potions. Uh, charms, uh, I would recommend putting something on the Plague Smith because they have so much health, so Zap, Wound, or Divine Wrath. Uh, and if you're really hunting here for a long time and you want to get those defiers and son of vermin then maybe I would put wound on blight walker as well and the character you'll see in the video is a level 547 ek of 125 axe with loyalty with no praise and no charms active 
And <laughs> at the root, I don't have a root for you. It's, you know, the Verminor seal is super simple. You literally just go in and just go towards the end and then you get out. And same with the Infernato seal, you go and you kill two pulls and you get out. You will see it all in the video, super simple. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's all I have for you today. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll play you, in the, video, uh, play you the video now and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.